Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of my Premier League jersey review. I'm wearing Everton. I said it already in my last video. I have 14 teams, uh, 14, sh um, yeah, my collection of 14 teams uh, present from this year's Premier League. I have 13 spots so I can wear a 14th team and I chose Everton. I think I said it's now way more complicated than it needed to be. So 14 Premier League teams are in my collection, 13 I can put up there. Da, da, da. So, and of course, now the last one I was wearing Arsenal, so Arsenal takes Everton spot and then I did a little bit switcheroo. So this is something for you to kind of look out for if you wanted to, which shirts am I changing around? Also, maybe a little bit nerdy from my part, or maybe not. In any case, uh, how did I choose the shirts in this video? I said it already in part one. I'm taking last season standings. I have four videos, so we have part two now and I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, as you can see in the standings here. And then every team with a number two next to it is in this video. And then I sort them in a somewhat alphabetic way, maybe mainly how I refer to these teams when it uh, called them quickly. And so we'll start with the team I'm wearing. Everton right here and Everton is one of two humble teams in this uh, Premier League season in fact uh, both of them are in this video of course I gotta say uh, I love generally what Hummel is doing and I think last season shirts I really 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 love this one I think goes a little bit too far I'm not sure so sure about the pattern in there I do love the addition of yellow though I prefer my Everton shirts to be just plain uh, blue and white but you know a little bit yellow in there is nice as an accent color maybe you could have also used it for the laurel wreaths inside of the crest to kind of you know uh, make it a uh, mirror in there uh, i'm not so sure about the overall pattern and especially this uh, semi sash that kind of reverses it in a way and what's even worse is to me it looks like the the crest is tilted towards the sash which I'm sure is not the case, but in a way it looks in this picture like like that, which is also not a really good look, uh, if you ever to ask me. Uh, positives, the Kazoo sponsor is one of the best sponsors at the moment out there. I absolutely love it. I Especially that the A is a little car. It, it just, it, it is very descriptive in many ways. It's simple and it you can put it on any shirt and it will look good. I absolutely love the sponsor. But overall, I have to say this shirt um, leaves me a bit cold. There is one really cool feature that I cannot show you here, but I saw that the lettering style. And again, I don't, lettering style should not be overly discussed unless there's something really cute in there. And it's of course, it's the cup lettering where in certain numbers, they make like a point that is cut, cut, cut out, of course, meaning a negative space representing uh, the St. Rupert's Tower. You can especially see this on the number nines and the number six very, very well. Even think on number two. It's not for all numbers, but I think this is a very neat detail uh, in there. But as, as I said, I think as an overshirt, it's kind of pleasing, but it also leaves me in many, many ways rather cold and it's too many blues on there. So I'm sorry to say, um, because it's a Hummel shirt and we don't have that many, but uh, this is a five star shirt for me. The away shirt. When I say first, huh? I didn't really get it. Uh, where's the red coming from? Isn't red Liverpool? <laughs> yeah, okay, then I got it. This is, of course, going back to the very first Everton shirt. And with the collar, which you cannot really see well in the picture, but it's a very nice looking collar. Uh, it's a banger, <laughs> I have to say. I mean, this is something where you really go back to a traditional look that is maybe not so well known, but as an away shirt, I have to say this really looks well. And despite red being associated with the city, city rivals, I really like like that. I mean, you cannot really go wrong with a sash and then a sash that also encompasses uh, the uh, club's crest. That's always a look that I actually prefer. I need to deduct a few points for the um, sash being bro broken up because of the sponsor, because I think with a black outline, this could have been well avoided. One thing that I'm not so fond about this one, but other than that, really good looking nine star shirt. Uh, and then the third jersey also goes back to kind of a, uh, a classic look. Um, but instead of the royal blue, it uses navy. I really, 
I do like the kind of patterning that's in there. Also, I find um, the Everton crest, you know, we you usually have dark, uh, a dark back by background and then all the elements are white and now it's kind of a little bit flipped, which actually makes the element stand out a little bit more than I would say on this type of crest. So I do like that, but it looks weird. Again, I wish it was navy. Uh, it was not navy, it was uh, a royal blue, but other than that, uh, there's something about it that I do like. So I think for the Avengers, also the chevrons. Why are the chevrons? Yeah, I think it's also navy. The, the, these are the broken up chevr chevrons. Here looks gray, which looks weird. Overall, a nice look. Uh, it complements the set really nicely because you have two kind of darkish jersey, one very dark one, the regular one, and then you have this one. Uh, so it, this is definitely needed. Um, I'm gonna go eight stars here. Would be nine, if not more, uh, if it was a royal blue, but a uh, really, really, really nice looking shirt overall. And then we are at the big boys in this video, which are of course Manchester United. And spoiler alert, I have to say this had to grow on me, but I think Manchester United has one of the best sets in Europe this season. The home shirt, honestly, on one side, not much to talk home about. It is red with a white collar, white sleeve cuffs, so really not much and really not uh, nothing that special. However, that's exactly how I want my Manchester United shirts to be in many ways. Uh, then there's a slight shadow pattern in there, which I actually I only could see once I saw it live. Yes, now I see it, see it in the big picture as well, which are three stripes, which means, uh, you know, it's kind of an Adidas branding in addition. I really love the white shirts and then especially the socks with the extra stripes in, in, in there. Um, the one thing that really drags it down, I know the sponsor is a whole lot better than a Chevrolet sponsor. But I would love it if it would just say Team Viewer or if it was just a logo. Uh, but together it kind of pulls the whole shirt a little bit towards uh, the Adidas side of so the, towards the proper right and away from the crest. This is the one thing that I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, it's colorwise a much better sponsor. However, it could do a lot better. But other than that, uh, it's everything I want the United shirt. It's not flashy. It's not special. Uh, of course, a little devil here on the back as well. But I think seven stars. I think is really uh, on in order. Now uh, the away shirt. Of course, this is the classic Adidas uh, template, a little bit reimagined. Uh, I had some funny discussions with with my wife because when they were, I think they were playing young boys, and my wife saw all these ones and she says, ah. Cristiano is playing uh, in pajamas and I can see her point that this shirt really looks like a bit like a, a pajama top. However, given that United has been wearing a similar shirt and one that they also got with those human race kits that I did not uh, review, uh, I, I think United were not wearing them as well. Um, this is kind of one of those beloved ones that uh, I think it's really good to go back there. Do I like it as much as the, um, uh, the camouflage sort of, you know, the zebra shirt from last season? Maybe not, but it's still a pretty, there's some, some nostalgia effect to it that I really, really love. And I'm gonna go uh, nine stars here. Uh, gotta say, uh, it, even though the crest is not full color, but it all fits very, very well. Maybe my favorite, and this might be now a very contentious opinion. Uh, is this one and it's all down to the colors. We have a full color color crest. We have a bold pattern and yes, I do like this one and I know there are many haters out there, but I really love you have the dark blue uh, with the pattern. Yes, it points downwards. Uh, maybe the sh it's chevrons, but it kind of points downwards. I was actually one, but it wouldn't be better if it was pointing upwards. Maybe, but I think the way the color goes, it is all right this way. And I love how the yellow is complementing the blue. This to me, and it's also, you know, a little bit the uh, Netherlands 88 pattern in there as well. And this to me really makes me like this one a whole lot. 
I think it's a great looking shirt. I'm stopping short of giving it 10, but it, this is another nine, nine star. It's one of my favorite United shirts uh, in the last few years. And I always think that United in blue as an option is a really, really nice. I have to say, when I look at the overall picture, I really love the set that United pulled out. There is not a dot in there. And yes, they're all dragged down a little bit by the new sponsor. Again, much better than Chevrolet, much better than Chevrolet. But still not perfect. I think there are other teams in the Premier League that, uh, especially uh, direct rivals, that have better sponsors uh, in them. Let's go from one of the biggest teams to potentially the smallest team with probably also the smallest supplier. But that is contentious because, uh, yeah, nah, not but not the smallest of the supplier. I see there's a Kelme in there as well. Homa is taking over Norwich. And you see last season Norwich shirt, which honestly, when I look at it, I really like this one. It's very simple. It's the canary yellow. Homa went a little bit able, similar to what Area did in the Premier League season uh, that was before the shirt, just a little bit. I do like that they add some of the green to the yellow. That is not a bad thing, but it's done weirdly. You have kind of this boxed off shoulder and, you know, if the torso was all yellow, then maybe I could live with the sleeves, but it looks rather disjointed. The black sponsor looks better here than it does here, although the sponsor itself, uh, you know, is kind of contained, so I like that one. But overall, I'm not a big fan of this one. I'm gonna give this four stars. Uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't get much better for Norwich. I don't understand the away jersey. I maybe understand the black, but where is the turquoise coming from? That is to me one of those <laughs> WTF uh, shirts. So I'm not going to spend much more time on this one. This is a three star jersey to me. And then the away shirt. I know Norwich had a red one, but again, red and black. <sighs> Please give me something in green or yellow. Why black? Why red? Same. I don't even care about the design then any, any, anymore. So same thing here. I'm gonna go three stars. Norwich so far of all the, all the teams, teams that we've seen, probably the worst set. And I think that the home home jersey is at least recognizable, but the other ones, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. not too much, too much in my liking. But so we have to go something much better. Another one of my favorites, Southampton's Hummel offering. The color may look a little bit weird, but I uh, so much to love about this. Uh, this is Hummel doing it very, very, very right. Just look at it. Uh, as I said, the color looks a little bit weird and so maybe does the sponsor. However, also uh, Southampton had much worse sponsors, so I can't live with it. The Bitcoin logo should have gone away and instead of the white background in the circle, if that was kind of like the letters, I actually think this would look really, really, really fine. So you get some deductions for that. But uh, look at the striping. I really love the black um, uh, lines between the um, white and the red uh, stripes. And then that the homo chevrons are kind of pointing down for the white and pointing up for the red makes a really interesting and nice pattern. This is a very um, structured looking, well looking shirt. I do love this one a whole lot. Um, as I said, I'm gonna give some deduction. The color might look a little bit weird, and the and the sponsor as well. But other than that, this is one of my favorites. This is definitely already on my wish list of shirts that I would like to have for ne ne next season. So I'm gonna give this uh, on for next year, not next season. So I'm gonna give this nine. It's more or less a nine and a half star. I really love what Homel is doing here. Uh, I even like the away jersey. I'm not so, I should have probably, probably checked the uh, jersey history uh, on historical kits, but I do like it. Uh, yellow with blue accents, really great. And then don't be afraid to put full color crest in there. And uh, here even the sponsor, yeah, I, th I think it also has a, a yellow backing because the pattern that's below doesn't re really repeat. But I'm not sure what the pattern is actually about to present. So if you know anything, please drop, uh, drop one, a line below. Uh, but this is a very useful jersey. Is it a great jersey? No, but I'm going to give it seven. Uh, it's pretty uh, nice. Uh, the away shirt in black with some red accents. Maybe the one thing I, that bugs me here is how the crest gets a little bit too much black. I think here you could have... 
On a black shirt, uh, let, me, let me see the full color crest. I think you could have kept it full color or at least, uh, you know, don't. I think it did the colors a little bit reversed. My, my, my opinion, especially since the band below is black, why make it red and then kind of the stuff with the tree. This doesn't look quite right to me. Uh, what I do like, however, is the, um, the pattern in there, which is kind of like uh, football pitches over and over and over again. Did I read that this is something with a training ground related or whatever, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's a nice touch. Um, I also understand that you need a really dark shirt. So Homo is overall doing a good job here again. It's just, I think the crest a little bit ruins it for me. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this six stars. But uh, Southampton did very, very well to go from Under Armour to Homo because Homo absolutely delivered on all accounts. And so the last team we'll be looking at is Spurs and Nike, what shall I say? Nike delivered the simplest possible Spurs jersey which, with the only real eyesore being the red sponsor of course but the Spurs fans have been lamenting this for years I assume. I honestly, I still do not, no I somewhat do understand if I put myself in the sponsor shoes you want to put your company's colors on the shirt. However, wouldn't this look much better with a navy sponsor which they put on all, you know, every other shirt, it's fine. Um, I, the one thing I do not like on this shirt is the template, but you don't see it because the color is kind of this squared off color, but in all white, it looks all right. It's a spur shirt. Is it exciting? No. Is it simple? Very much so. This goes pretty much, I can say the same thing what I said for United. It is everything that I would have a, spe a Spurs jersey, the, what I'm looking for in a Spurs jersey, but uh, it lacks a little bit of a flash. Or something that makes it stand out but I cannot really fault it for what it is and so I'm also gonna go with the same grade as I went for United with seven uh, stars I actually do like the old style although I'm not sure if this was ever used uh, inside of the collar with kind of the uh, kind of a different shield the away jersey yeah I would love what this is uh, it reminds me a bit of the cover of Metallica load in many many ways i know this should be maybe a, a marble pattern but it looks more like what was it milk and semen or something like that uh pressed between glass uh, that's that that's what this reminds me of but it looks spectacular it absolutely looks spectacular and then uh all the applications in this uh light yellow kind of make it fit as well uh there is some they have something there. Uh, it is, it is definitely, in my opinion, the best Spurs jersey this season. I'm gonna go eight stars um, because I like the idea. It is, it, uh, you know, they did something rather special, and it somehow works. What doesn't work for me is, however, the third jersey. This one I find an atrocity of the highest order. I maybe can live with the purple, but where, why is this fading in green? And I know there is some references to the local neighborhood with some aerial photographs, but it is so meshed up. This looks, looks more like an art project than a proper soccer shirt. Uh, and also the striped effect in there. And when you look at it in play, uh, it is almost quartered, but it is not quartered. It's weird and the uh, colors, nah, it doesn't, uh, the, the other one, you know, because there was a navy element, you kind of you saw it darkish, bluish, which kind of is Spurs. To me, there's not nothing really Spurs in there. And yes, I get it. You want to kind of refer to the district in London that you're from. Uh, but I think the jersey that you had when you made it to the Champions League final, uh, although it wasn't properly used there, but that was a much better shirt. This one I do not get. And it's one of the jerseys that I like least. So I'm going to go here with two stars. And there you have it, part two is in the books. Yeah, those videos are long because I have a lot to say about this. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to me if you want to see more videos like these. And don't forget to drop a line below with which shirts you do like in these videos uh, and which shirts you think I'm a little bit off, where you agree with me. Everything below, I'd be very happy to hear from you. Up until then, talk to you soon, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and kick the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.